We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ilya Koloshenko, who is CEO of Hitech Bridge. Hitech Bridge is a leading information security and penetration testing company headquartered in Geneva in Switzerland. In 2012, Hitech Bridge was recognized as one of the market leaders and best service providers in the ethical hacking industry by Frost & Sullivan Market Research. Ilya Koloshenko, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for your invitation. I'd like to start off uh, by asking you if you can tell us a little bit about Hitech Bridge and uh, about the business of ethical hacking. Sure. Uh, actually, Hitech Bridge is a Swiss company specialized in ethical hacking that exists since 2007. Uh, probably we should explain a little bit more in details about the ethical hacking because despite that the industry of the ethical hacking exists since 2001, basically we can say. A lot of people still ask what is the difference between ethical hackers, uh, hackers, criminal hackers, uh, who are these guys, what are they doing, what is their business. Uh, actually, to make the story short, uh, we can say that today a lot of companies have their IT services, IT infrastructures like uh, uh, hosting, websites, uh, Wi-Fi networks and so on. A lot of companies know that uh, security is something that is very important for them. And they have antiviruses, firewalls, IDS, IPS, and all things like that. Ethical hacking is a very interesting uh, business, actually. We are hired by the customer who tell us, for example, I have a site that is supposed to be secure because I have a firewall, web application firewall, it's supposed to be on a uh, hosting that is secure, but I'd like to hire you guys to legally, with my permission, to hack the website and show me if everything is indeed secure. And if you're going to hack my website, I'd like to know how you did it and the most important thing, what are the solutions to be secure in the future? So can I ask you, how does Hitech Bridge provide assessments and, uh, and offer security solutions to clients faced with many different kinds of hacking perpetuated by hackers with different motivations? Of course. Actually, it's a question that a lot of customers who are contacting us are actually asking us because they'd like to know how to proceed, uh, what are the norms, what are the uh, processes, and so on. Uh, usually, the process of ethical hacking is quite simple. The customer is coming to us and uh, uh, saying that he has, for example, a server, an IT infrastructure, a website, or something like this. And he say, I'd like to know if it's hackable or not. Then during with the discussion with the customer, we're going to say him about the potential risks he might have. We're going to speak about the competition. We're going to speak about uh, uh, hackers who are doing uh, hacking just for fun, you know, to make some noise, some buzz on the medias. We're going to speak, obviously, about uh, hackers' attacks that may come from uh, the company itself, from the insiders, because today, a lot of companies are actually being hacked, we can say, by their own employees. And uh, after the customer actually uh, going to say us, you know, about Insider, I'm quite confident with my team because the team is relatively small and uh, the people who I have, I tend to trust them. Uh, the competition, I also don't think that uh, we're going to be attacked by them because the competition, we know them or we have a great relations with them. But for example, the risk of being hacked by some hacking groups for you know economical reasons, political reasons or something like this, this is something I really would like to foresee. And can you suggest me an attacking scenario that these potential hacking groups will use? How does Hitech Bridge plan to adapt its service to clients in regards to changing regulatory regimes in the major market areas? Uh, you know, I cannot say that we're going to really change uh, the services we're offering because of some new rules or regulations or something like this. Because, of course, uh, the industry standards are changing, but basically, honestly speaking, Technically, for the ethically, ethical hacking, it doesn't really change much. It's more you know, a question of how often we are going to do the audits, uh, if uh, all the you know, NDAs will be different, uh, all the administrative questions will be a little bit different, and so on. But technically speaking, the standards don't really change a lot for us. 
because I mean the job of ethical hacker is quite simple. The objective is to hack the customer in order to show him all his weaknesses, her abilities and so on. Now, IT, you are hosting Telecom World 2013 in, in Bangkok in November, and you're one of the sponsors of the Cybersecurity Pavilion there. Uh, I'd like to ask you what you're going to be exhibiting there and um, what you hope will come from it and uh, about your engagement with ITU Impact. Uh, it's actually a very big question, so I'd like to split it probably to several uh, different parts. Mm. Starting with what we're going to present at ITU Telecom 2013 is Bangkok. In Bangkok uh, will be our new product that is called ImmuniWeb. Uh, to make a short description of ImmuniWeb, it's a very simple, fast, uh, relatively cheap solution to check if a site web application is secure or not. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about web hacking, web application security and so on. Uh, according to our experience, um, that what we are seeing on the uh, on the market since I can say basically 2007, almost each big hack uh, intrusion to companies involves somehow a hacking of a site of a web application or something like this. Uh, ImmuniWeb actually allows to any person in the, the company, like CEO or even a CFO. Uh, to order an assessment of his site completely online. It can be done from iPad, iPhone or something like this. It will be really simple. All uh, the things like uh, order, payment, configuration is completely online. There is no uh, long phone calls, you know, when you have to speak with legal team of your company, with the legal team of the customer who are saying that in our NDA there is a comma and because of this comma we cannot move further and so on and so on. So everything is completely online and uh, the assessment uh, objective is to make ethical hacking of uh, sites, uh, web application uh, for SMBs, government, NGOs, something they can really easily do. As well, we look forward to seeing uh, High Tech Bridge at uh, ITU Telecom World 2013 and Ily Koroshenko, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much for your invitation.